I'm going to con I'm going to conserve some energy and allow my colleagues across the house to continue this debate. Uh, the next call is a split call. Julian Gender, five minutes. Kia ora. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Tēnā koutou e te whare. Uh, what I want to speak about in this bill has to do with the government's um, spin on electric vehicles. Because it's very, very clear that the Minister of Transport, Simon Bridges, would like to give the appearance of supporting a transition to electric vehicles. And that's great. I applaud him for having the ambition to at least demonstrate that he's supportive of the idea of electric vehicles by showing up at all the um, photo opportunities every time a charger station is every time a charger station is an, is opened and announced. Of course, his government had nothing to do with funding them or investing in them. Now, what's really sad about this bill is that it actually isn't going to do anything to make electric vehicles more attractive to people who would. Treasury gave that advice to the minister, to the government. They said very clearly the major barrier to people buying electric vehicles is the upfront purchase price. And so, unless we have a policy that does something to reduce the expense of buying a new electric vehicle, people aren't going to be able to do it. So, I, I think it's a bit disingenuous and, and, and a bit hypocritical, really, for the minister who's on a very high salary and can afford to buy an electric vehicle himself to go out there exhorting people and businesses to buy electric vehicles when he hasn't actually done anything to make it more affordable and realistic for them to make that purchase. And of course, the, the worst part about this, this bill, the one part that we really don't support, is that um, allowing electric vehicles to use bus lanes is actually going to be incredibly disruptive to the operation of public transport in our major towns and cities. And that is completely uh, counterproductive when we're trying to reduce carbon pollution from transport. We're trying to create cities that are more livable, more affordable, that are easier to get around. The Facts are that allowing electric vehicles to use the bus lanes will make traffic worse for people in the bus lanes and people outside the bus lanes. And we have the numbers to back that up. And it was funny because Minister Simon Bridges earlier said to me that, um, you know, the reason Auckland Transport and all the transport planners didn't support the policy was uh, because they were left wing. And I informed him that, in fact, Geometry isn't left or right wing, Simon. It isn't right or left wing. It's just geometry. And the geometry of it is that buses move many more people uh, than cars do. And so buses are a far more efficient way of moving lots of people around towns and cities than individual cars are. Sorry to interrupt the honourable member. The time has come to, for me to leave the chair. Member, this debate is interrupted and set down for resumption next sitting day. And the House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow. Good evening.